understand. It's kind of the original. Original. Yay! Hey, we're out the gate. Happy Taco Tuesday! Yeah, how are you guys? Everybody good? That's what's up. I care about that. I want to know. I want to know. If you're new here, hey, hi. How are you? Thank you for stopping through. Hey, if you're returning, I appreciate you so much. But like I said, if you're new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, we're out the gate. Let me know if you want to see more. That's what's up. But anywho, you guys, it's Taco Tuesday. I'm ready to get in. I'm starving. I did a restaurant called Los Campos. Um, I got uh, beefy nachos, uh, burrito, but they have uh, rice and beans and cheese and uh, chimichanga. Oh yeah, I'm doing the most. Uh, let me say a prayer over this food. Cause yeah, you know, if I'm rushing, it's cause I'm hungry. God is great. God is good. Let him think us for our food and Jason and repay. Amen. Yeah, ain't nothing to it, but do it. Ain't nothing to it, but this is their beefy nachos. Let me give y'all, let me show y'all some. Yeah, stop that me. They didn't really like, let me add much. I do have some, um, no, I have to open, I have to open this sour cream. I may add this out, I don't know. The sour cream is helping hold the nacho. Hold on. I'm gonna add some sour cream to the. Uh... Mm -hmm. So, I added some sour cream to it. But I know these have been sitting for a minute, y'all. I'm not gonna get a very good, you know crunch off of these. I apologize. Trying to set up was a little bit more difficult than I realized. So, uh, they've been sitting. Mm, mm. This is supposed to be a hard shell taco. I don't really know. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. This is my first time trying this restaurant out. Never had it before. Never. I was looking for something else, y'all. Hey, you guys. Are you on Taco Tuesday? And I wanted to thank everybody for their birthday wishes. Thank you so much. That video I put out was hilarious to me. Oh. <clears throat> I forgot to tell you, it was compiled of my, you know, favorite foods. Mm -hmm. It was hilarious trying to edit it, trust me. I was like, what in the world am I talking about? I jumped from stutter to stutter, I was cracking up. I said, oh, Heather, mm-mm. Uh. Y'all got to see me in rare form. And I said, you know what? It's my birthday. We're not promised tomorrow. So, I said, I'm just going to let that ride. You know what I'm saying? I'm grown. I'm doing what I'm doing. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 Well, right. I do have some fresher chips that came with it. I was supposed to have a tostada, but I didn't get a tostada, I got chips. So I'm assuming they might not have had her tostadas or something. Because I think something got substituted. I door dashed it, so I don't know. Mmm. 
Here we go. Mm. <laughs> A fresh trip. Yeah. Dude, all these chips are soggy. My fresh chip. Oh wow. Total difference. I am. I prefer freshness. That's why I'm dreading this taco. Mmm. You know. I'm so far behind. I'm watching my little nutmakers. Behind. Oh man. I'm like, y'all keep dropping some good vids. And I see my notifications. And I'm like, mm, I gotta watch that. I gotta watch that. I'm like, I gotta watch this. I gotta watch that. Mm -mm. All right, I don't wanna get too filled up on nachos. Although they're good. Hold on. <laughs> Only because I have so much to taste test. Because like I said, this is a new restaurant for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious about everything else. This is their hot shot taco. Now I'm not going to judge them because like I said, it took a minute for me to set up. So a taco is not. Yeah, I know how I am about soggy tacos. So. I'll go ahead and take a bite of it. I already know it's soggy. It sat for a second. But I do want to try it. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Major explosion. How funny. Mm. It just totally exploded. Dang. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Darn it. It's my fault, y'all. My bad. I really didn't mean to take so long setting up. I just... Mm-mm. All right. Now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have some gritty. I ain't even talking about nothing. Now that I have a lot to talk about. But right now, I'm starving. This is their chimichanga. Beef, it's beef. Mm -hmm. the beef chimichanga. I'm trying. Cut it up. I know. I don't make food beautiful. I know. I get it. I'm horrible at that. I don't care if it's pretty. As long as it tastes good. Why are you rushing? Because I'm so hungry. Starving. All right. Let me try this chimichanga. Try the sour cream. I think I'm sauce cream right now, I guess. <laughs> mm hmm. They got rice and beans. Mmm. 
Oh my gosh. Mmm. That's why I'm getting it. I ain't even talking. Ain't really nothing for me to talk about. But the fact I'm eating some good food. Mmm. Finally. Finally. Yeah. Mm hmm. Woo. I just wish I could have got there in time to get the crunchiness of it. I messed around, man. I pray everybody is doing okay. Had a wonderful weekend. Did what you enjoy doing. That's what's up. Y'all already know what I did. <laughs> I chill, you know. When I want my friend Jules came down, of course. Maybe I'll put up a picture of us, I don't know. I know. No promises. Mm. Woo. Now, that was a chimichanga. This is a burrito. Yeah. I don't know what possessed me to get the same thing. One fried, one not. Mm. <laughs> a burrito's a burrito. I just wanted to try it. Like I said, this is a new restaurant. Never been here before. I just kind of want to test the waters out. See what it's working with. Aww. Just see what it's working with. Wow. How do I do that? They managed to make it taste differently than a chimichanga. Hmm. Okay. Like really, how they like? Wow. Like I'm. It feels like I'm distinctively eating two different things. I mean. Hmm. That's crazy. This is more light. Anyway. Doesn't seem quite as heavy as the chimichanga. This one, even on some burrito. I don't know, it has like a airy lightness to it. Hmm. It's good though. Try some of this avocado. Mmm. But yeah. I'm doing okay, guys. Yeah, my kid hasn't eaten any of this yet, so hopefully he'll like it. It's pretty good. Believe it or not, I don't like going to Taco Bell all the time. Mmm. <laughs> but yeah. I was testing some things out. I'll be sure to test these out again. I mean, different things from this particular restaurant. They have a 
potential. At least their stuff has flavor. One of the other restaurants I tried had no flavor. None. I was like, where's your flavor at? Everything was so plain. Things were called chewies or something like that. Yeah. It's so plain. Sorry, I ain't talking too much, but I did start a new program that I'm like 1000% into. It's, um, I knew I was gonna forget it. <laughs> into the groove or get your groove back or, oh man. It's a dating show on Hulu, hosted by Tay Diggs. I don't really like to say he's hosting because he's I only seen him once so far. <laughs> That's on the first episode, but they say he's hosted by Tay Diggs. You know he did the movie How Stella Got Her Groove Back. So the whole premise is based on that. Older women, younger guys. Mm -hmm. Women in their early 40s up against guys that are in their early 20s, 30s. Looking for love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it caught my attention. I stayed up, you guys. Binge watching it last night. I had to work, I had to work in the morning. I stayed up. My son was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I can't sleep. I'm binge watching it. I'm caught up now. Waiting for the other episodes to come out. This is tonight. At like 11 p.m. my time. So, I'm excited. I can't wait to see the rest. <laughs> Mm. It's just so good to me. Like, duh. I'm a woman. I was a woman who attracts younger men, so I used to tend to date men younger than me, so not purposely. I don't seek that out. It just occurs, but um, so having this type of show with women you know, in my age bracket, dating younger men. And younger men, learning about them, seeking older women. Why do they? What attracts them to us, you know? And it's really cool. Like, I don't know, it's just fun. Like, I, I, I was so into it, like, I couldn't stop. Like, I was drooling. <laughs> I was like, Please have there be more seasons. Please. <laughs> it just, you know. Like, I'm telling you. And I have some people, you know, hit me up. <laughs> They're all younger than me. <laughs> Every last one. One is extremely younger than me. So it makes me self-conscious, like, what are you attracted to? You know, like, oh my gosh, what do I do? You're an adult, but at the same time, oh my goodness. You know, I don't understand. I don't understand what to say or do or whatever. I think I'm more confused than they are sometimes. So this show, like finding stumbling upon this show last night, couldn't sleep as usual. I've been like that for a while. And Sean finds something to go to sleep too, actually. I run across the show and man, in my hook, it's got three women, three older women and like 24 younger men. Oh, Martin. 
They're sticking out relationship with an older woman. Mm-hmm. Y'all. I kid you not. I'm into it. Oh, gosh, you guys, I feel like a jackass, and I can't think of the name. And what I'll do is, when I, when I edit this, I'll put the name. The exact name of it. Like, Into the Groove, or Your Groove Back, or something like that. It has something to do with, you know, Kate Diggs' movie that he did. But what was it? Angela Bassett? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. How Stella got her groove back. She was 40. Years old. Went to Jamaica. With her homegirl. Who was played by Whoopi Goldberg. They went to Jamaica. And. That was sad too. Anyway. They went to Jamaica for a trip. And met this beautiful young Jamaican man. Who just so happened to be only 20 years old at the time. She's 40. He's 20. And he's, she's like, boy, if you don't get away from me. I'm type of vibe, you know. Now, what am I supposed to do with you? But share the respect if I get grown and man. He came after what he wanted. It happens eventually. So, you know, to have a show like that, inspired by that movie, is crazy. It's actually been what I've been going through. It's like, does someone know? I'm like, does someone make a reality show of my life or something? <laughs> like, seriously, are they? Like, hey, that's not funny. <laughs> What's going on? So I am just hooked on it. Like I am just sitting there. I'm watching, you know, the guys' reactions and the women all around. The women's, re you know, and they have. I have all those feelings and emotions that um, the women are displaying or having or the reservations. They're, but at the same time, their confidence. They're, you know. Willingness to take something like that on, I mean, it's cool. It's good. Mm-hmm. And also, I'll put to what it is up. If you're interested in it. Mm, I know. It's a unscripted, scripted reality show. This is the concept of it. It's like really resonated with me, that's all. Because it's so, I don't know, unbelievably within the realm of what's going on with me. You know, especially when I date and who I date, and I don't purposely choose younger men or anything. There's one who, pre who presents themselves on mm. All right, Sean. I'm full. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm done. Well, thank you guys for joining. We're talking Tuesday so much. I won't hold y'all too long. Because <laughs> I talk about that show all day. But hey, if you're new here, please don't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The notification bell so you know when I drop a vid. Like the video, like press your thumbs up, please and thank you. And don't forget to comment. Let me know how that works. So I can say something to you. And share it out. Share me if you want to. I appreciate everybody who's new here and comes back to me. Love you guys. Remember, hey, I'm here. I'm always here. I'm not going nowhere. Stay blessed. And bye bye.